Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now, if you're looking for a small PC, kind of that same form factor you get with a Mac Mini, but you want one running on the Windows ecosystem, then today I want to tell you about the UM300, a small PC with an AMD processor. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. <music> So here it is, the UM300, uh, as you can see, a very small, compact design, similar in idea to something like the Mac Mini. I'd like to thank Mini Forums for providing this review unit. However, everything I'm about to tell you is what I found out independently from using this device over the last two weeks. Now, I want to tell you five things about this device so you know whether it's worth it or not. So the first thing you need to know about the UM300, of course, is the size, okay? That's the obvious selling point for this. It's not a desktop. A lot of people don't have room in their uh, houses or apartments for a desktop. Maybe a desktop might make too much noise, so they want something smaller, something quieter. Now, some people opt for a laptop in that situation, but if you actually wanted something where you can connect your own screen to it, mouse, keyboard, and so on, then using a small PC like this is a alternative approach. One thing I really like about it is you get this bracket, which is one of these VESA brackets. So you can screw this bracket with the PC mount on it to the back of your monitor. And then you kind of have the monitor with the PC screwed on the back, cables for power, connect it to the HDMI or display port. And then you can even use a wireless keyboard and mouse. And you've actually got quite a nice little setup there just by using the provided mounting bracket to put it on the back. Keeps your desk nice and clear, keeps everything out of the way. Now, the second important thing about the UM300 is expandability. If you look at a machine like a Mac Mini, uh, especially the new ones that have been announced, people are saying, I can't expand that. I can't expand the RAM, can't expand the storage. There's nothing I can do with this. Now, with the UM300, you can expand the RAM and the storage. Now, the model I've got has got eight gigabytes of RAM and it has an M2 SSD built into it. Now, there is another SATA connector and a place where you can put a two and a half inch drive so you can add a second drive to your machine. And my one's got eight gigabytes and there's another memory slot free. So I've got the option in the future, rather than spending the money up front, I've got the option in the future to add another eight gigabytes, bump that up to 16 gigabytes because there's a free slot. So expandability, you're not in a sealed case. It's not leaving you, you know, with no options. There are options for future expansion. Now, the third thing, of course, you need to know about is the hardware specs. This is using an AMD Ryzen 3 3300U. Now, of course, the U is the mobile, the laptop kind of chip, so lower thermal uh, budget. So the performance, of course, is relative to that. Let's have a look at some of the other features you get. As I mentioned, mine is an eight gigabyte one. There's also a 16 gigabyte version. You come with Radeon Vega 6 graphics built in because it's the Ryzen chip with the built-in uh, graphics into it. There's an M2 slot for Wi-Fi support. There's HDMI 2, there's DisplayPort, USB-C. There's a gigabit uh, Ethernet LAN. There's lots of USB ports. So actually you've got all the connectivity and the expansions you'd expect from a normal PC. Many of the cables, the power adapter, DP cable, HDMI cable, the mounting bracket, they all come inside of the box. So it really is a complete package from that point of view. Okay, so that tells us about the hardware specs, but of course, next to that is the performance. So of course, as you'd expect, it has the performance of a, the chip that's in it, the AMD Ryzen 3 3300U. What does that mean in terms of benchmarks? Looking at Geekbench, the single score is uh, 843. The multi-core score is 2409. If we go over to Cinebench, we can see that the single score is 823, which interestingly enough is faster than a fourth generation i7 uh, 4850HQ, and that's of course a desktop chip. So that shows you the advances that we're getting nowadays from the fourth generation i7 to this Ryzen 3. That's pretty good performance. In the multi-score, it's much, much further down the list. Of course, this is only a four core, four thread machine. There are plenty of higher core chips out there, including of course from AMD itself. So you have to know what level of chip they are providing here. One interesting thing is though, is that there are other models available over on the Minis Forum website. So maybe you can pick a model that has your performance level if this isn't good enough for you. And I'll quickly just mention Speedtest GPC, which I demonstrated when I was looking at the uh, MacBook uh, Air with the M1 chip in it. Now the MacBook Air M1 completes the uh, Speedtest G in 56 seconds. This device, the UM300, does it in one minute and 45 seconds. So that might give you kind of an indication of the relative level of performance. 
And number five, will it run crisis? This, of course, is the important question. And the answer is yes, it will. Here I am running Crisis 3 Deluxe Edition. However, you do have to run it on a fairly low resolution and you have to put all the graphics features down to their lowest settings. And doing so will give you a frame rate of between 20 and 30 frames a second, depending on obviously the intensity of the scene in that particular part of the game. And finally, we come to the price. For $399, you get the model with eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of internal storage. If you drop the price by $100, you get the same machine, but with no storage and no RAM, of course, you'll need to add those yourself. And if you go up to $479, you get 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of SSD. So that's quite an interesting value proposition, particularly if you look around for laptops or a Mac mini, you can certainly see where this fits into the price ranges. And maybe it'll suit your budget better than let's say uh, an expensive laptop or even a Mac mini. Now, if you're interested in finding out more, I have links in the description, both affiliate and non-affiliate links in the description, so you can find out more about these products. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Are you interested in PC reviews in general? I haven't done very many on this channel. Do you think it's something I should be expanding into? Please let me know your thoughts below. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.